In March 2000, Honda opened the Real World Crash Test Facility, the world's first indoor omnidirectional crash test facility. With this powerful new instrument, Honda seeks to achieve higher safety levels for every possible accident. We're moving on from crash barrier testing to the real world and real accidents. Since the facility is indoors, it can be used 24 hours a day, regardless of the weather. The building stretches 272 meters from north to south, 178 meters from east to west, with a ceiling height of 15 meters. It's truly a giant structure, with a giant contribution to make to the future of crash safety. The crash zone measures 130 meters squared and is pillarless. A total of eight lanes placed at 15 degree intervals diverge from the baseline formed by the straight course and the zero degree course. At this real world crash test facility, we recreate accidents of all kinds and all directions. Let's have a look at the testing from the perspective of the yellow car. Full frontal collision. Collision with a car approaching from the left front. Collision with a car coming from the rear left. Having reversed car positions, we recreate a collision with a car approaching from the right front. And from the side. Omnidirectional crash testing. Offset rates can be set with precision. Anything from a 100% full frontal collision to a 50% offset to a 10% offset. To maximize the accuracy of the data gathered, each lane stretches 130 meters, which makes it possible to achieve a crash speed of 80 kilometers per hour, maintaining stable dummy positioning. Two cars can be towed so as to collide at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Collisions can also be produced between two cars traveling at different speeds, for example, 40 kilometers per hour versus 80 kilometers per hour. Just as important, Honda has developed a new pedestrian test dummy, which helps us study with greater accuracy what happens to the pedestrian involved in an accident. The new real-world crash test facility is equipped to recreate real-world accidents with unprecedented accuracy. The control room is located 4.5 meters above the floor for safety reasons and to create an unobstructed view of the whole crash zone. Most of the facility's testing functions can be controlled from right here. The range of control functions handled from this room includes starting and stopping the cars and adjusting the configuration of lights and cameras. Collision conditions, lighting, and camera configurations are programmed into the plant automation and robotization systems, reducing setup time to a minimum. The result is more efficient testing. Nothing is more important in crash testing than the collection of data. Thirty-six high-speed automatically controlled cameras and vehicle-mounted cameras capture the deformation of the car and the kinematics of the occupant dummies with an exceptionally high level of accuracy. At the point of contact, a 27 square meter area of transparent flooring facilitates shooting of the vitally important underbody.
The video data and over 200 types of data recovered from the dummy's sensors are transmitted to our servers and exploited intensively in ongoing research and development. Real accidents are characterized by a great many variables, including the various weights and designs of the vehicles, the extent of their crushability, collision speed and angle, and offset rate. By studying the real world, we're learning to protect people better and better. And that's the point of Honda's safety research. Inaugurating the real-world crash test facility, Honda strives to reduce the damage caused in accidents and increase the protection offered people. Our work here is all about safety.